Hello, and welcome to the Game Dev Quickie. This episode's topic is, Render Target 2D. Let's get right to it. We will use this base sprite class to draw a simple image. The input manager provides the key presses. And the game manager to bind everything together and help with testing. We jumpstart with a prepared sprite on the screen. Our goal is to be able to change the game window resolution. But keep the same view area and aspect ratio. Okay, let's start coding. The first task will be changing the resolution. We need a graphics device manager reference. Add a new method to set the resolution. It sets the width and height. Then apply the new settings. We use the update method and input manager to switch the resolutions. The last step is to provide the reference through the constructor. Let's try if this works. Good, the window size changes. The next task is to adjust the actual game area. We want it to stretch as much as possible while keeping the same aspect ratio. Let's implement a drawing canvas. It utilizes the render target. Instead of drawing the game to the screen, we will first draw it to this target. And after that, we draw the whole canvas to the screen. We also need a graphics device reference and a destination rectangle to resize the canvas as needed. The constructor is straightforward. It prepares the render target with the desired resolution. The set destination rectangle method will calculate the position and size of the canvas on the screen. First, it gets the screen dimensions, then calculates ratios for the horizontal and vertical axis. In order to stretch the canvas correctly, regardless of the screen orientation, we will use the smaller ratio. The next step is to get the new dimensions and position the canvas in the middle of the screen. The activate method switches the rendering to our new target and clears it. The draw method switches it back and draws the whole canvas to the pre-calculated rectangle. Let's add a new canvas to the game manager. We set the canvas size and recalculate the destination rectangle whenever we change the resolution. And finally, add the canvas methods to the main draw call. It's time for a test. The default resolution still works. Good. Let's try switching to a widescreen resolution. The canvas spreads as much as it can. Great. What about a vertical display? Perfect. There is one more variant we can add. The borderless full screen view. We add a new method inside the game manager. It sets the resolution to the same as the current display. Then set the game window as borderless. Apply the changes and recalculate the canvas rectangle. And finally, we call this method by pressing the selected key. Let's give it a try. The game now runs in full screen. Perfect. That is one of many usages of the render target. Let me know if this was helpful for you. Leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. You'll find the code in the description below. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to stay updated with the latest content. Is there a topic you'd love to see next? Feel free to share your suggestions in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.